requesting everyone to stand up for our opening prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, holy be thy name, thy kingdom come, the will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day every day bread, and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who have against us. Do not bring us to the test, but deliver us from evil. Amen. So once again, good morning class, and welcome to our MAPI class. I am Numerous Tohoinon, and you can call me Numi. I'll be your teacher in this particular subject. So before you go back to your seats, please pick up the pieces of papers under your chairs and make your rows straight and have your chairs properly. Okay, for your attendance, Miss Beagle, who are the absent for today? Okay, very good. You are all present for today. Did I give you assignment last meeting? Okay, if I give you assignment last meeting, please pass it in the front. One, two, three. Okay, thank you. Now, this morning class, we will have another lesson, but before that, we have a recap for today's discussion. Giselle, what is our topic last meeting? Okay, very good. Our topic last meeting is all about the music of Lowland Lusat. So today, we will discuss our new topic. Are you excited? You should be excited. Because today, we will have a game. This game is called, Guess Me and You'll Find Out. So, I have here two pictures posted on the board. So, these two pictures, I want you, and I have prepared, prepared here a jumbled letters below the pictures. So I want you to guess it. So before, I want you to guess the name of these pictures for you to be able to guess the jumbled letters below. So okay, Vanessa, do you have an idea? Okay, very good. This picture is about music. Okay, so the picture is music. How about this one? Okay, okay. Okay, very good. It is Visaya. Music of Visaya. So do you have an idea now what is our topic for today? Okay, very good, Vanessa. Our topic for today is all about the music of Visaya. Very good. So our topic for today is all about the music of Visayas, but before we start for our discussion, I will present our objective for today. So at the end of the lesson, the student will be able to identify the folk vocal music of Visayas, appreciate the importance of Visayas music, perform the folk vocal music in Visayas, and create appropriate movements. So let's go back to the music of Visayas. So Visayas is one of the three geographical divisions of the Philippines. So the three division, division of the Philippines is the Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. So Visayas is known for its cultural richness in songs, traditions, and great musicality. The music composed of lullabies, working song, harana, children's song, and love song. The music of Visayas is widely considered to be rich in Spanish colonial musical tradition. This is 
evidenced by the use of guitar, voice, and choir, and instrument. Instrumental music shows the rich diversity of mythical culture in the Visayas. So the Visayas region, some tradition define its people. So and make them all distinct from other ethno-linguistic groups in the Philippines. Believing that among all the arts, music has an extra emotional power. This has been their contribution to the Philippine cultures. So one of the most popular musical style in Visayas is Balitao. So Balitao is the signature song of Visayas similar to Kundiman of the Tagalogs. So this song is usually written in a three-part time signature and usually talks of love and other aspects of life. Balitao is a musical style of Visayas. It is a song and dance debate between a man and a woman. In the debate, they try to beat one another through an exchange of romantic verses. The song becomes a simple love song that expresses a man's love for his woman. So now, let's move on to find out the folk vocal music of Visayas. The folk vocal music of Visayas is Matud Mila, Rosas Pandan, Kuntan Sui, Iluma Bata, Dantan Sui, Ili Ili Tulug Anay, Ako Kini Si Ami, and Si Pilimon. So let's find out first the Matud Mila song. So Matud Mila is a Visayan love song. So this song is used to serenade women as part of the basis of traditional Filipino courtship in the love against all odds. So this is a very beautiful song at the same time, sad song. About this song is about a man's expressions of love and hope despite the suffering being dim and worthy by the people around them. So the song ends with a message um, that he will keep on yearning for love with hope that his beloved would not be persuaded by the prejudice of others. So now, let's move on to Rusas Pandan. So Rusas Pandan is a Visayan drinking song. So it is a song of joy and love. Rusas Pandan tells the story of a pretty lass from the mountains who charms everyone when else singing dance during a town festival. So lass is what we call a young woman. The third is the Kundan Sol. So Kundan Soy class is a Visayan drinking song. Kundan Soy is a song about drinking tuba. In this song, uh, Kundan Soy is a boy who is being asked to drink Doloy's tuba. Uh, coconut wine. So tuba in English class is coconut wine. But Kundan Soy in the, in the song, he wisely refused for tuba is as long or sour. Okay, let's move on to Ilunga Bata. So Ilunga Bata class is a Visayan children's song. The song is about an orphan child. So Ilunga Bata in English is the orphan child. So this song is about an orphan child longing for love of parents. Um, the message of the song is very sad because after the child is being left of his parents, He's all alone and thinks that the whole world left him. So the song says, I am a little orphan. I am a little orphan. Mother had cared for me. But now, I'm all alone. All the world has left to me. So the song, the message of this song is very sad. And let's move on to the fifth, the Dan Dan Sur. So Dandan Soy is a Longo farewell song. So Dandan Soy class is a Visayan folk farewell song. Uh, this classic folk song became a popular in the Visayas, particularly, particularly in Panay. So Dandan Soy is the name of a boy. This so Dandan Soy is the name of a boy. This song is about a uh, lovers leaving Dandan Soy to go back to her hometown. The sixth is Ili Ili Tulog Anay. 
Iliili tulog anay is an elongo lullaby. So iliili is mostly sing to help a child asleep. Uh, this tender lullaby from Panay Islands in the Philippines is tradi traditionally sung by a sister or other female relative to help a child fall asleep while the mother is at work. So let's move on on the seventh part. The akokini si ami. The akokini akokini si ami song class is a Visayan word song. Um, uh, it talks about a girl named Ami who worked as a dressmaker. She worked day and night to earn living. So let's move on to the last part. Si Filimon. So Si Filimon song class is about a Visayan work song. Uh, the song Filimon is a working song. Also just, uh, the, uh, they are saying, in the Anay, Ako kini si Ami, and si Pilimon. They are both working songs, but in Pilimon, si Pilimon is a, um, the difference is, Pilimon, Pilimon is a fisherman. He catches fish and, and sold it in the market, where after he sold the small fishes for a small amount of money, um, he usually went for his friends to buy tuba. Tuba is a coconut wine where most fishermen are contented with this simple living. So now, we are done for our topic, but we are done for our topic for today. But before that, I have prepared a, a question for you to find, for me to find out if you really um, understand our topic for today. Okay, the first question that I have prepared is What are the folk vocal music of Bisaya? Okay, Giselle. Okay, very good. The folk vocal music of Bisaya are Matud Nila, Rosas Pandan, Pondan Sui, Ilunga Bata, Dandan Sui, Ili Ili Tulung Anay, Ako Kinis Engi, and Philemon. The second question is explain the classification of folk vocal music of Visayas. But I will I will um, I will only ask you about the classification of of uh, Dandan Sui. Okay, what is the classification of Dandan Sui song? Okay, very good. Dandan Sui is about a, a long a long walk farewell. Song. So the third question is, why is it important to study the folk vocal music of Visayas? Okay? Any other hand? Jacob. Okay, very good. It is important to study the folk vocal music of Visayas for us to know their music and how it is related to their cultures and traditions. Very good. Okay, the fourth question that I have prepared is In what way we can show appreciation of folk vocal music in Visayas? Okay, Giselle? Okay, very good. We can show appreciation by preserving and valuing their folk vocal music. Very good. And the last question that I have prepared is What are the best ways to preserve our traditional folk music. Okay, Vanessa? Okay, very good. The best way to preserve our traditional folk music is by giving importance and valuing it in all forms and aspects of our lives. And also, uh, the best way to preserve our traditional folk music is also by preserving it and keep it alive and pass it to the next generation. So, okay, we are done to our discussion. So, let's proceed to our activity. To the class, for our activity, the class will be divided into five groups. Each group will choose one folk vocal music in Visayas and present it through singing with appropriate movement. 
So I will give you five minutes to practice and three minutes to present. So our criteria for today is the learner's presentation will be rated as follows. So your choreography and style, 25%. Mastery, 20%. Harmony, 10%. Creativity, 10%. And performance, 35%. Overall, point percent is 100%. So I want the class to go to your groups now. Congratulations students! Clap your hands for a great performance. So, to end our class, I have prepared here a assignment. So, in a one whole sheet of paper class, I want you to research the folk vocal music of Mindanao and its classification for our next topic, next method, next method, next next meeting. So to be passed next meeting class. That will be all class and once again, good morning and God